Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today is the unofficial but official uh, first day of the second month. Um, congratulations, you guys are doing awesome. I'm really stoked and excited about this group. Uh, probably the, the best group of guys that I've been able to do this with. Generally, uh, when I do this, it's more like one-on-one -on -one, cause I, I do train so many people in person, but this is the first time I've had 10 people uh, all in one fell swoop, uh, which has been really fun and eye-opening and it's always helping me uh, improve my process and improve what I'm doing when it comes to online coaching and online nutrition consulting and things like that. Um, one thing that you'll notice is that, I think Eric said it in the group, 90 days is a long time. And that's why it's so imperative to find activities and practices that are sustainable and that are doable over the long haul. Because uh, if, we, if we are gung-ho for a week and then we burn ourselves out, and then we immediately start binging on junk food the following week, then we're kind of setting ourselves up for failure there. Um, and it's, it's okay to, to be gung-ho and, and really get after it, but it still has to be sustainable. It has to be something that we enjoy doing for a long period of time. And that's, this, you know, being in a caloric deficit, you don't want to be in a caloric deficit forever. You don't want to just whittle your calories down and then whittle them down and then whittle them down because eventually you get to a place where you're just not eating enough. And you can't sustain being an adult, being a human being, uh, by just whittling your calories down to nothing. Um, so the point of this video is I just wanted to let you guys know that it's imperative and it's important to not only commit the first time, but this is a continual recommitment. We're continually recommitting to the process. So even if you have like a less than stellar week, okay, cool. We're still on the path to, uh, healthy practices that we can adapt and sustain over the, the long haul because we know more things. We know how sleep affects us. We know stress mitigation is, is really important when it comes to all this because we don't want our cortisol levels high all the time uh, because a byproduct of that is hanging on to body fat. We know that we have to enjoy the food that we're consuming if we want to stay in a caloric deficit. We know we need to fuel our activity. We have to fuel our lives properly. We know we need to balance out the three macronutrients, proteins, carbs, and fats. We know we have to do these things. And just in the knowing, we're still improving every single day. Even if we have a less than stellar week, we're still basically climbing up that mountain. We're, we're getting to that, that, that place where we have more autonomy in our lives. We feel like we've got more ownership over our healthy practices. We feel like more of a high functioning adult. And um, there's no regression after that. That's the thing with, with the knowledge, you always have that knowledge. I think sometimes people, they, they have a bad day and they think they've completely failed the entire process. And that's just not the case. And that's something that kind of sets us up for failure too. It's easy to say, well, I screwed up over the weekend, so screw it. I'm just going to eat like shit all weekend or all week. Uh, and that's not really a good mentality to have because that just, you know, it just, it, it, it's just preventing you from realizing who you want to be. Okay, so there's gonna be setbacks. We can, we can imagine what those will be and we can plan for them and we can try to mitigate them as much as possible, but we can anticipate that there's gonna be setbacks. And there should be, I mean, we're learning new things. So uh, that's what life is, it's a constant evolution, it's a constant process. There's, you know, once you realize, you know, you get really, really lean and then you're like, okay, now what? Well, there's steps after that too that you can take. And it doesn't mean we have to, we have to punish ourselves or needlessly self-sacrifice in order to maintain our results. There's gonna be a period of time where we might maintain for a little bit, and then we might even you know, be more lax with our calories. That doesn't mean we're taking huge steps backwards. In the interest of sustainability and healthy practices over the long haul, it might be necessary, and it might be another step up that mountain, You know, being okay with gaining five to 10 pounds in the winter time. I do it every year. I, it doesn't affect me, it doesn't bother me. It's to be expected at this point, I expect it. And that might be the time where my training changes a little bit, so I'm trying to gain a little bit more lean tissue, a little bit more muscle mass. So it's always progress, it's always a recommitment, and that's what I want you guys to, to do today. I want you to recommit, because that's what we do during these practices. We commit the first time, we make some changes, we learn some stuff, and then we recommit and recommit and recommit. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hit me up if you need anything. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting you guys up today, so I hope you uh, hope you have a great day and a great week. All right.